Hi, so this is a video for GTACarkits.com about uh, ins how to install a GTA car kit into a 2004 Honda Civic. And uh, we'll start off. The first thing we need to take off is uh, this middle part of the console. And on, on 2004 model it's fairly easy to take off. On some uh, previous models, uh, earlier models like 2001, 2002, uh, this part of the console is different so you need a couple more different steps to take it off. But the main point is to get uh, to take this cover off and get to the two screws holding, uh, holding this uh, radio console in. So the first step for this model is uh, to take, uh, first of all the tools that we need for this particular model is I'm using a small Phillips screwdriver, a longer Phillips screwdriver, an 8 millimeter socket, a clip removal tool and uh, I'm also using this uh, uh, used old credit card and you'll see why I'm using it later on in the video. So first step you take your uh, uh, small screwdriver you put it here in the middle, you see this, uh, uh, it's like a blocker piece. So you put yours uh, carefully, not to scratch any plastic, you put it in the middle. And this cover pops off, just like that. You take this cover off in order to put your two fingers inside and kind of pull this whole piece on, onto yourself so you can get this uh, either a screwdriver small screwdriver or a clip removal tool I'm gonna use a clip removal tool so then you pull on yourself and just like that it comes off you might hear that uh, these little clips come off once you uh, take that off you have to disconnect this plug so uh, once you take the cigarette lighter plug off, uh, you might find that uh, th there's uh, four four clips holding this uh, panel into the dashboard, and you might hear a little metal uh, th like metal noise and like some clips flying off. And you have to it's probably one of these things. It sits on top. You have to find all of them, uh, <coughs> the ones that fly off, and uh, when you take it, you gotta put it back onto the thing. So next time you plug it, in, like next time you're gonna put it in, it's gonna clip it, clip in, and it's gonna hold the panel in. If you don't put these clips back on, your uh, it's just gonna rattle or it's gonna come off by itself. So you take this panel and you put it away. Uh, so there should be uh, two screws. Uh, holding this radio down. There is uh, one screw here and one screw here. So you take your uh, eight for this. You need your eight millimeter. Um, <laughs> for this, you need your eight millimeter socket uh, because you can. There's all. You can also take it off with a Phillips screwdriver, but uh, these bolts are usually really tight. Those two bolts. So and it's really easy to strip them. So if I suggest first using the 8mm socket to take them off and then uh, continue with your small screwdriver or the long screwdriver if you can fit it in there. So first thing you do is you kind of loosen these two bolts with the regular socket, 8mm socket. Once they're loose you can take a small screwdriver and take them off. So once you remove the two bottom screws, uh, now you have to take the whole the whole radio, uh, like this whole panel off. And uh, this is where your uh, old uh, credit card comes in and the uh, clip removal tool. So I use the old credit card in order to, because you, on this particular model you gotta pry out the radio. And when usually you pry it off, it doesn't matter what you use, you're most likely to damage the, uh, the the panel or break the plastic. 
So when you use the credit card, it helps, helps you to not damage the, the panel. So the, the easiest step I found was to uh, start off from this uh, uh, right corner and uh, what you f first step you do is you slide in this uh, old credit card because there's a clip here you slide it in and then you slide in your cl clip removal tool and you unclip this clip behind there once you unclip it now there's space for your hand to fit in and then now you gotta continue because there is another clip here and a third one on top so you kind of pull it on yourself this clip did itself and now you can take this whole assembly out once you take it out uh, you're almost ready for installation of your uh, GTA car kit and uh, once you're here you're, you're gonna see this empty slot and uh, that's when you take your uh, uh, your GTA car kit once you assemble it it's gonna have uh, a box in the middle and uh, two two cables two two ends to it so one one is this blue end uh, this plug that you're gonna actually put into the radio and this one goes to your iPod so next step you do you assemble the kit you plug it in here screw it in into this side and you're ready to put in your your GTA car kit into your car so you plug it in let just like that so it clips uh, so there's two two ways you can uh, actually uh, run this uh, wire to your to wherever you want uh, one way is uh, to uh, use it to use this uh, pocket in the bottom of your radio and uh, you would drill a hole from the from the back uh, closer uh, it's closer to the driver of course because he's gonna be probably controlling the iPod the most or uh, your auxiliary so you gotta drill a hole there and then you can uh, feed this wire through uh, to the hole and you're gonna have it your iPod in the middle uh, pocket when if you choose that option it's the best uh, the best way is to drill that hole and then hide this box to the left there's a there's an opening here and uh, it's better to hide it to the left there's also another option if you want to use your glove box um, in this particular model, model there is there is a, a hole uh, here uh, there's when it, when the car comes from the factory there is a cover here uh, that uh, covers the bolt you know if you want to take off the glove box but we took it off so we have this hole which you can also run the wire through and if you go that option it would be better to hide hide the box to the right of the radio there's a there's a hole there uh, so you just put the box in there and uh, then feed feed your cable to the glove box uh, and th that's pretty much it uh, of course you gotta for the installation of course you gotta first before putting everything back you gotta test out your uh, uh, your kit so you put the car into the turn it on into the accessories so your radio turns on I'm, I'm using a iPod touch as a tester you plug it in it made a sound that it's charging uh, once you uh, connect your uh, GTA car kit you're gonna have your regular AM FM uh, controls but then when you p press CD you're gonna have CD if the CD is inside the CD changer and then you're gonna have another option CDC and this option that's one of your auxiliary and your uh, iPhone or your iPod uh, are working so uh, it's in the CDC now so you're it works everything is working fine and then you're ready to put 
everything back together. The installation procedure is uh, just reverse of uh, taking everything apart. Uh, so this is the video for GTA car kits. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.